just uh, gonna go ahead up the mountain. Whatever needs to be fed, we'll give it a little bit of feed. They're gonna be a little hungry. We'll just fill uh, this up and head up the mountain. The fire, the Dixie fire, is working itself towards that area. It's about eight miles out. but we need to put that Energizer that we just bought, that Magnum, um, the Parmac Ag Magnum 12 volt. We're gonna put that one in. And just in case there's wildlife that goes up, bears, they're gonna be hungry, especially because of the fire. So we don't wanna feed the bears with our brood. So we're gonna put that battery pack on and or that Energizer on and Kind of cross our fingers maybe do a little weed eating up there <clears throat> make that fire break a little bigger brought the backpack blower so we're going to blow all that excess um, stuff that we weed eat get it out of the way that should be enough Let's rock and roll you can see the fire Right over there, that white cloud, there's that building, tree. See the, the cloud coming up. Over here getting a burrito before we go up the mountain. And uh, just in case, I don't wanna have to leave the yard while we're doing our fire break. So we'll get a burrito and when we get up there, we'll at least uh, stay put and just do our weed eating. Uh, we got our some fire hoses up there. We're gonna go spray down pretty much the whole yard and uh, if we're able to, depending on the on the smoke, we brought some uh, some feed. And we're gonna crank the feed on our uh, on our bees, uh, just so they have something to eat while it's so smoky out. Uh, when it's smoky out, they tend to eat a lot more. They're still trying to fly, but there's I don't know what it looks like up there, but we're gonna go up there right now and. Uh, See what's going on and we'll get our burrito thank you thank you and we're gonna go up the mountain and uh wish us luck hey if you're new to this channel make sure you go down below smash that subscribe button give us a big thumbs up on this video we'll see you guys up in the mountain morning's map yeah. we're up here okay this okay. is highway 89 got it and it'll intersect 36 like over here so what what is it what is it quite doing i mean is it is the winds pushing it just kind of this way yep. or yep. okay where is 32 32 over here okay yeah but it intersects 36 up here got it They closed off the main freeway, and I totally understand. It's for safety. I'm kind of familiar with them closing them down where wildfires just new normalcy out here in California, especially in Northern California. And I recall in the campfire just how quickly they closed those roads. Even though the fire was miles and miles away, they, it's all about safety. 
so I totally understand. The, mile, the fire's eight miles out, and uh, we're gonna get in there, do our fire break really quick, and uh, crank the feed, because I don't know when we're gonna come back in here in case the fire does reach our bee yard. So it's pretty important for me to just make sure that the bees are okay. They're out in the open meadow. I'm feeling really good about it. And there's just really no time to pull them out. Especially now that they close that main road. Gonna go do what we need to do. And then uh, go talk to the ranch manager and see if there's anything that we can do to help them out. They are hosing down the oldest standing barn in California. I mean, that's that's pretty cool, but scary because the fire is eight miles out. Well, from this morning, it was made eight miles out. We don't know. We'll wait to talk to them and kind of get a better idea where they're at, what they're looking at, what they're coming against. Um, hopefully, maybe we'll come across a firefighter, uh, CHP, as we exit. Maybe we can ask some questions. You can smell it. So we made it to the main road over here that leads us up to the ranch. Oh, let me pull over really quick. The winds picked up and brought a bunch of ash over. So uh, we're gonna try to hustle up and get out of here, you know? Just getting to the ranch. They got the fire hose going here. Hose down the whole property here. Getting everything just in case uh, fire breaks out it's really going after High clouds drifting away leaving the shadows under first step out of the maze follow the path and wander and we go we go with no illusions ¿Y qué es ese, ese barn allá? Oh, es ese, ese, ese barn tiene 140 años uh, de 1800 y feria. Y esta es una casita chiquita. Y esa es una casa, la, la, la hacían casa y la hacían restaurante porque aquí era una área de descanso. De, era un camino que venía desde Paradise por aquí a Chester, a Lake Almanor. Y, este, y ahí dejaban las mulas, ahí, aquí comía la gente cuando era restaurante y nosotros construimos esta casa y ahora José viene y, y es este, parte de la tribu para poner sus moscos que están por de aquel lado presas, agua bastante y este, aquí estamos atascados esperando la lumbre a ver si llega yeah. estamos remojando todo esto Cada que media hora todo lo just, así no, sin parar y yeah, lo hacemos por dos horas y no paramos un rato y ya después este, uh, nos tomamos un break y otras dos horas mojamos la bodega mojamos la casa y las, las toda la estructura y de esa manera este ya está estamos un poquito safe estamos un poquito yeah. acumulados y este esperando aquí, ojalá que no nos, no nos llegue por aquí, porque si nos llega, pues vamos a ver qué hacemos. Yeah. yeah. Right there, that's the oldest standing barn in California. That, right there. Ese, según la historia, es el, 
Esa bodega es la más vieja de, 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 de en todo California. Que está de arriba, sí. sí. De 1800 y, y feria, 1860, 1870, ojalá y no me equivoque, pero uh, sí. Eh, Tenían ahora, un, un alguien vino, que vino, ¿no? Sí, alguien nos vino ahora en la mañana a, a dar una inspección en esa, en esa bodega y, y de ese fue del modo que nos dimos cuenta de que es la bodega más vieja que existe en, el, en todo California. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. They're spraying down. They're spraying down. He said the winds shifted. They're going that way now. Um, but when they were coming, I mean, this was all, it was all smoke. I mean, smoke everywhere. You can see a little bit. It's hard to see on the GoPro, but ash is falling. And uh, the fire is maybe, they went to go check out the fire uh, just to make sure that Everything is three and a half miles away from us, which three. is absolutely good, maybe four. But I hope everything can be better. So we're gonna go over there and do our uh, do our thing with the bees and go weedy and go feed some real quick because when it's smoky out, the bees don't go out to eat. Uh, so we're gonna go give them some food, go do our fire break with our weed eater, go with the backpack blower and blow all the dry stuff out and make sure that the, the bees are okay. The ranch manager here, he is, um, he was saying in Spanish about how often they have to water this area. It's about, so they'll water this whole area. Um, this is an addition to this ranch. That is the, um, they had an appraiser come out um, an historian so they can get that barn appraised because that is the oldest standing barn in California so they're trying to protect this ranch protect that barn protect all of this that's going on right here um, they're going back and forth now they're gonna go hose down that barn this is wild so we got to do what we got to do and kind of hurry up uh, we don't have that much time based on what he said the fire is three miles out so we got to do our thing They're pumping it out of the creek over here. They have a, a pond. Make sure that, that gets nice and soaked. a little bit about um, what I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna really record I just have to really go after it I'm going to make this fire break a little bit wider so the winds are coming this way now which is a problem I can feel it it's coming this way and man that's scary bees are flying a little bit but we're gonna knock them down and then we're just gonna blow blow anything I got the backpack blower and we're gonna blow any dry stuff out of the way and uh, just pray let's rock and roll There's a little bit of ash falling it's kind of scary let's see if we can follow this piece of ash look at that right here look at that that's not good we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
get this uh, solar pack out. thing is clean. We're gonna hook this up real quick. Hooked up our stuff and just placed it on top of this box for now. that wide and then we're gonna go in inside and do a little more we're gonna go a little wider right here all the way around it's getting a little thick out here finished up the fire break all the way around the pallets now we're gonna throw on the backpack blower and blow all this dry stuff that's fuel uh, we took it down to the dirt and uh, we'll just blow. We'll see what's going on. Oh. We're gonna crank some feed and then, and then probably throw on some deeps after we uh, crank the feed. But first, let's go. Uh, let's blow all this dry fuel. Let's rock and roll, man. Let's do it. Man, we had, <laughs> I just had just enough string, man. Look at it. I couldn't even do the other side. Just enough for that. I could not find the one I just bought, so I had to get that one that I, it was just left over. Shoot. It's thick out here, man. It's really thick down over here. All this side. It's just... It's funny, uh, I was just listening to a song on my Bluetooth, a little CCR, Run Through the Jungle. If you guys know some of that CCR, man, uh, I'll have to put that link on the description box down below. That's a jam, that'll get you really rolling. So, let's strap up and let's rock and roll. that choke on Outside of this pallet to where I weed eat it in blue should be about I don't know 20 feet blue underneath the pallets uh, I mean we're down to the dirt temperature dropped it's 832 and uh, it's cold you can see all smoke a smoke line fire is in that direction uh, some of it's on that side. There's some a few miles out that way. And this side was closer to Lake Almanor West. Uh, Lake Almanor West is on a mandatory evacuation. Give some feed really quick and get out of here. All right, guys. I'm not trying to panic. Singles are looking pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and stack some. And uh, just in case we can't make it back up the mountain. Oh yeah, California Beekeeper 2020. Ooh, I just got, just got nailed. <laughs> Ooh, 
There's another one. But yeah, they're looking solid all the way around. There's some, like I said in the previous video, a couple videos back, I'll drop that down in the description box if you missed that video uh, when I brought them up here. Um, ooh, man, dude. Some were started as um, three, four frame nukes about a month ago. So now it's just cranking them up, cranking them up. That's why we brought them up to the mountain. <laughs> we didn't anticipate this uh, wildfire, uh, the Dixie fire. So we are praying and doing what we can in order to try to keep them up here. I feel good. Um, we have the ranch manager and that's probably all I'm going to show you for, and I'll close out this video. So, Hey, hope you enjoyed this little quick journey up here to the mountain. Uh, we are battling, uh, all this smoke right now at the moment and, uh, uh hoping that we can uh, survive this Dixie fire. So, Hey, if you're new to this channel, go down below and smash that subscribe button. Uh, really helps us guys. We appreciate the support. We appreciate all the feedback with the electric fence issues, the chargers. We have that Parma, Parmac Magnum 12 volt solar powered unit now, energizer. So added two more grounds, total of three grounds. And uh, we laid out some... Uh, some wire here we got some hog wire that we just utilize over here we have the uh, chicken wire and it goes uh it's just a little three foot wire one two three four five hot wires this wire is the ground so that's how we roll got done what i needed to get done uh i mean just kind of pray for the best feel good about it though feel really good about it and we took it down to the dirt did some stacking on some hives over there and uh cranked the feed stacked a couple uh a few of them that had foundation just some of those pierco ones those double wax full box of uh foundation we'll see what happens <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna even make any any honey out here, but uh good sign is that the the winds are working with the firefighters. That's that's great. So uh that's I was just talking to the ranch manager and the winds are to the firefighters' benefits and appreciate you guys and we're out. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see ya. Well, they uh, blocked this off, so you can see any fire that way. No. This whole area is evacuated here. Just get on the freeway and go home. Ash. See a little, other than there's some dust, but uh, let's look at this ash. Those are some, some big ones that were falling a while ago. Look at this. Look at that. So this is a, this is a scary, man. Get one of these, it'll ignite your whole, your whole yard. It'll ignite your whole. Oh, God.